Now, see a next topic that is water equivalent. See here it is defined as the mass of water which would absorb or evolve the same amount of heat as is done by the body in rising or falling through the same range of temperature. Now, see here if you have taken the body of mass m. Suppose a body here of mass m and it is given delta q heat. If you are given delta q heat and rise in temperature by delta t here, then we can write delta q is equal to m into here s into delta t. So, this is the delta q amount of heat is given to the body of mass m and the temperature rises by delta t degree Celsius. Suppose, now the same amount of heat is given to the w grams of water. I have taken here w grams of water and same amount of heat is given to this w gram of water. So, that temperature rises by the same amount that is delta t. Then we can also write delta q is equal to w into 1 into delta t because a specific heat of water is 1 calorie per gram degree Celsius. So, the same heat is given to the w gram of water. So, that the rise in temperature is same. If you equate these two, you will be getting here w into delta t is equal to m s delta t. This and this will get cancelled. So, w is equal to called m s. So, this w is the water equivalent of this body of mass m, but w is measured in gram. But see, a numerically it is equal to thermal capacity. But thermal capacity is measured as joule per Kelvin or per degree Celsius, whereas water equivalent measured is a that measured in grams.